A high-profile Dallas City leader pleads guilty to federal corruption charges. This morning we learned that Dallas Mayor Pro Tem Dwayne Caraway admitted to obsecting bribes, among other things. Our Steve Pickett is live at the federal building in Dallas where a news conference wrapped up just about 30 minutes ago. Steve. Jen, we knew that this uh, mayor pro tem city councilman uh, was facing uh, an investigation as part of this overall investigation regarding uh, conspiracy regarding Dallas County Schools. We knew that. We did not know it would move this fast, where you have not only the resignation from his office today, but a guilty plea in federal court this morning. And we now know that Dwayne Carraway will be heading to federal prison as a result. The result this morning coming from the U.S. Attorney's Office. For this district, spelling out a multi million dollar conspiracy, she says, with the pro tem of this city getting paid to close to a half a million dollars for his votes and political influence. The surrounding contracts for that company that put cameras on school buses here in Dallas County. Mr. Carraway, according to the U.S. Attorney, admitted to taking kickbacks, hiding from the U.S., uh, the IRS, cash in and of itself, and to use his position to criminally support the company that received millions in contracts from that now defunct Dallas County Schools. This case and the guilty pleas in this case reflect harmful and criminal conduct by both politicians and business executives. Public officials who betray their position of trust harm the integrity of our government. Uh, along with Dwayne Carraway, Robert Leonard, who is the head of Force Multiplier Solutions, which was the company that was involved in all of this, also a guilty plea uh, from him. And also Rick Sorrells, who, who had already pleaded in this investigation, uh, who was part of Dallas County Schools. They say this conspiracy, all three of them together, finding millions of dollars between all of them, flipping that money for political influence, it is Dwayne Carraway who admitted to it today in federal court. Seven years in prison is the possibility. He will be sentenced in December. He, as we mentioned, resigned from his office. He is not in custody as we speak right now. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.